The manual lookup page is your starting point for fraud fighting and investigating individual transactions and users. It allows you to see the abundance of data Seon unlocks right away. Here, you can choose the type of lookup you'd like to do based on the data you have, like an email, a phone number, or an IP address. Let's try an email lookup, shall we? Enter an email address, or several, into this field and hit Enter. The email lookup provides technical details about the email address and its domain. We'll also check if the address has been involved in any data breaches, because this is a good indicator of how widely an email is used. Real mailboxes usually average about 2.44 data breaches, while fraudulent throwaway emails lack such history, averaging only 0.98 data breaches. Most people use the same address for years with several different online services. So we check over 50 social media sites and digital platforms for user accounts connected to this email address. Based on all this information, and by applying the default rules in Seon, we assign a score to this email that can help you determine whether there's an actual person behind the email or there might be something shady going on. Now, let's run a quick phone lookup. Switch to the phone tab, input a number and hit enter. You can see similar technical details and see if the number has been used on messaging apps. When you run a transaction lookup or integrate Seon's fraud API, these checks will run in parallel, enriching and evaluating any data you send our way. Our scoring engine will then calculate a fraud score for your transaction using our default rules, the custom rules in your account, and SAN's machine learning solutions. No matter the result, you'll always have full visibility of the rules and factors that influence a score. That was easy, right? You can do the same with whatever information you have at hand or use the transactions tab to take a deep dive into multiple data points. Simply put, the more data you share, the more accurate results we can provide. Keep in mind that if you use the transactions tab here on the manual lookup page, your check will create a new transaction, helping you review any past transaction. Thank you for watching. Remember, we cover many elements of Seon in this series, so take a look around at our other episodes. And if you want to read up on anything we talked about, head to docs.seon.io.